Yo, yo, mom much? Kinda. What's the deal with that? Is that like street or something? Yo, yo, mama? It's Chinese, and don't mock the master. It's blasphemous. I'm sorry, my bad. The young adult tearjerker, If I Stay, pulled enough heartstrings to take third place and take in almost $17 million at the box office in its first week. I have trained you your whole lives to protect the city above, but I fear you are not ready for its greatest threat. Those teenage mutant ninja turtles refuse to go away, holding on to second place, as Donatello and the gang lap up another 17 million in their third week on the big screen. Why would you want to save the galaxy? Because I'm one of the idiots who lives in it! Oh, what the hell? I don't got that long a lifespan anyway. But this motley gang of unlikely heroes topped the box office for the third week in a row, bringing in another 18 million. Film critic Jason Gorber joins us, as always, from uh, twitchfilm.com. Jason, good to see you. Nice to see you. Uh, I want to talk about uh, Sir uh, Richard Attenborough. Uh, there aren't very many directors who are also very established actors as well. Yeah, this guy is about as close as we can get to sort of an institution in Hollywood um, and international cinema. I mean, he's been in some of the most important films ever made, and he's directed some of the most important films ever made. I mean, uh, people sort of my generation really glommed onto his performance, a very grandfatherly performance in something like Jurassic Park. I mean, he Jurassic Park is, is, is so easily a dismissible film. You're like, oh, it's just a crazy, silly Spielberg film with dinosaurs. But he injects so much heart and so much spirit into that film and absolutely acts the hell out of it. One of my favorite scenes in cinema is when he's sitting there and the ice cream's melting and you just see him going through, he realizes the loss of the thing that he had built up. It's an astonishing moment of performance captured on film and he's, he's truly one of the greats. In terms of him directing, he, he directed Gandhi. Mm -hmm. he, he directed Bridge Too Far, some incredible things. But I mean, we, we lost uh, James Garner just a couple, uh, I guess about a month ago and both uh, Garner and Attenborough were in The Great Escape, one of, one of my father's favorite films, but one of my favorite films of all time. So you have a guy that spanned an incredibly rich part of uh, Hollywood history, but could also bring it as a performer, as a director. And look, the name Attenborough means so much, not only him, but his brother David, uh, the naturalist and uh, documentarian. So you have these, these two Attenboroughs that are just uh, incredibly important sort of to my cinema going life, and it's a, it's a real loss. He will be missed. An uh, incredible career. Um, Absolutely. Uh, um, second installment of Sin City came out. Uh, what did you think of it? Right. So, so like uh, 300 Part Two, another Frank Miller thing. We have a couple things going on. First of all, this is another sequel nobody was really asking for. <laughs> You're like, why not? Um, so, Last Sin City came out about eight years ago, and it and, and it set the tone. Literally, black and white. A very uh, mix between CG and, uh, to create a very graphic, very graphic novel look. And I'm one of the few that didn't love the first one. I thought it was a little bit silly, frankly. I'm not a big comic guy. So the second one, whereas it's not a very good movie, I actually like more than the first movie, and it's because of one important person who also made the second 300 so excellent, and that's Eva Green. She's the one actor in this film that clearly knows exactly the film that she's in and just knocks it out of the park. Everyone else is sort of a little bit hesitant, but she is such a strong performer and giving it her all exposing not only emotions but herself nonetheless it is, it's a very graphic film in all those ways but she is so extraordinary in just using everything that she has at her disposal to completely nail this role so it's not a particularly great film but just to see somebody like Eva Green actually continue to do genre film in a really super interesting way it's worth seeing plus visually it's great the 3D is much better it's still not a great film but I liked it better than the first one only about 30 seconds left now for the Congress. Yeah, this is a weird one. An Israeli-French co-production with Robin Wright playing Robin Wright. And it's the story as of an actress selling her image. It's based on a Stanislav Lem film. It's playing in uh, isolated theaters throughout the country. But it, if you're looking for something a little bit weird and a little bit off mainstream, it's definitely worth checking out. It did its festival run, and now it's out in theaters for your enjoyment. Jason, thank you very much. Have a great week. All the best. Take care, Scott.